hello guys in this video i will show how to get data from sql server database into text box in c sharp windows from application here is two button to get next and uh, to get previous data click next This is the database my first SDB and this is the table item in four tab. There are many record uh, this data in from SQL table. I will show this record in the text box. Uh, this is the column of the table item info table item type item name quantity unit item ID. I am just designing the form UI. Uh, first text box is text box 1 and uh, this is um, for item ID then text box 2 is item type text box 3 is address oh sorry uh, text box uh, 3 is item name and text box 4 is for quantity uh, that is shorter than uh, one text box I am just copying a uh, label control and text box control and paste it here okay uh, the fifth text box is uh, unit okay now I'm gonna write in code this is the form load event here I am just uh, creating a query to load data in the data grid view but I stick to from as db dot item in force select s data grid view one the data choose equal to st this is my context okay now just debug start debugging these are the data there are many item in this list I'll show this data in the text box when I am put uh, putting uh, item ID then it will display in the text box that record what I put in the text box uh, an item ID column okay in that case go to the event and the text box key of event okay this is my text box key of event I'm just copy paste to reducing time yes bar st equal to uh, this is a okay from s in db dot item in force where s dot item id equal to a, <coughs> the item id is integer type that's why i have to write it in the dot first text box one dot text select s dot past okay now text box 2 text box 2 dot text uh, the item type will display in the text box 2 dot text in that case uh, st dot item type text box 2 dot text equal to st dot item type it's noted that in the text box key of event key of event execute at runtime at uh, when you write id it will execute if it's in the text change event or others then it will execute in different so I am just showing you when uh, you just write the ID it will show the data okay text was 4 dot x equal to quantity quantity is uh, number data type load data type that's why it should be a uh, convert to string okay start debugging just put item ID 1 1 maintenance ln key 54 dynam oh error exception when it's blank it will show the, this error because this is a integer data type in that case you should uh, uh, you should uh, include a condition if text one dot text not equal to faka then this uh, code will execute else this code will not execute okay again start debugging item id one yes minus ln key 14 and two ln key 15 and uh, 4 17 okay now go to the toolbox add two button control to see next data and previous data at button click event without writing one two three you just write one then click on next 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 it will show two three four or if you or uh, click on previous it will show uh, four three one sorry four three two one okay uh, now in the button click event to see the next uh, first of all I'm just declare integer value equal to integer dot first text box one dot text what already exists uh, in the text box one what already what number already exists in the text box one I just take it in the val variable 
in the data variable text box then uh, text box one dot text val val plus one each time it will add one then it will show in the text box after that 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 data that item id data will display in the other text box uh, in item name quantity unit and others this is number type that's why it uh, should be convert to string because uh, the text when you display it in the text box it should be convert to string okay now to maintenance just click on next oh the item id changed but uh, the data item item type quantity is not changed so that's why just i need to add this code in the button click event as well paste copy and paste now i think it will work change item just tells icon the button click event put two okay yes now it's in changing 5 17 vulnerability 8 mm 7 next click on next okay 8 it will showing perfectly you can check it in the grid view okay now at another button control to see previous data this is for next data and then right now i just adding another button control to see previous data when you click on the previous button control it will uh, show the previous data okay i am just designing the button control you can design it uh, more than that more than me because to reducing the time of video i just uh, uh, i just uh, not emphasize the design and the control oh it's not showing change the design oh yes this color is uh, it's not uh, showing perfectly go to the event click event just the double enter just click on enter or okay exactly copy the button once uh, click once code this just copy and paste it in the previous the difference between next and previous is the number here is it will plus the now you just add in the minus in the existing bell existing id just put item id one yes one it's showing one next two three next three this is the lnk 16 mm next and 17 mm and when you get previous and 15 oh yes it's now perfectly working now i think you understand well 